Why don't you go outside and do that stuff for real? I would. We got a lot of trees to cut down here. You're playing video games, cutting trees. How'd you raise this kid? <laughs> He's waiting on you. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, yeah, it was supposed to be a tractor video, not gonna lie. We were gonna go on the back property. I was gonna show you guys how my Kubota can smash down this brush and kind of tear some stuff up, kind of push it to the limits. But these pines have overgrown way too much. We gotta get these things trimmed back. Um, I, like I said, I got about 10 feet of driveway back there, a rocked area, and it's really overgrown. We're starting to hit it with the truck. I gotta get this stuff peeled back. So I'm gonna just get the pull saw out. I'm gonna go to town on this. We're gonna time lapse it. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna let you guys know a little something about me. Uh, I like the metal detect. I haven't metal detected in about over five, six years. But when I worked nights as a, uh, as a maintenance supervisor, the only thing that you could do after you get off work was kill 12 pack of beer. Well, obviously that's not a very good thing to do. So I picked up the hobby of melee detecting. I'd get off work at night. Uh, instead of going home in my garage drinking beer, I'd go out and I'd start melee detecting. Kind of weird to do that in the middle of night, two in the morning. But you know what? Kept me out of trouble and kept me from developing a bad habit. So today I saw that metal detector hanging on the wall. I was like, you know what? It rained. I can't do nothing else. The ground's gonna be soft and wet. Let's go metal tech this property because I'm really interested in doing it because I haven't done it to my property yet, but we uh, we got a lot of historical uh, travels through here. A lot of Indian, which you probably won't find any tools or anything like that, but we got a lot of stuff like that. Um, Pioneer trails, the Mormons came through here. They had a lot of bivouac sites around here. And what's really interesting about my property is I have a spring that runs through it. So obviously as a natural spring runs through your property, you're gonna have a lot of uh, people through all times of the ages back whenever. They're gonna be stopping out where there's water sources. So pretty much what I'm saying is there's probably some kind of activity down here uh, in my area at least at one time or another. But I mainly wanna hit around the natural spring area because those are gonna be the areas that have not been touched by man in a very long time. Hey, be sure to subscribe too. Like I always say, it does us a lot of good around here. It don't cost you nothing. So be sure, hit that subscribe button if you guys like our channel. doesn't look like much until you start getting into it and then you realize where am I gonna put all this stuff look at me I'm completely drenched it is disgusting out here but oh I gained at least 10 12 feet as you see it's going all the way down uh, if you guys have a reference point that's where my potatoes were you guys remember the trees were going kind of touching the back side of those potatoes and now look at it I could probably fit another couple couple cars up here huh yeah all right so it's starting to storm a little bit starting to sprinkle which is good for us because we're soaking nasty wet and it's hot out but look at that that is amazing we're probably not gonna be able to melt tech today i don't want to get caught out there with my equipment out in the back 40 and then have a torrential downpour on me so we're gonna be doing that tomorrow until then we're gonna get all these stuff cleaned up i don't know where we're gonna put it i have a burn pile back there but it's already 12 feet high I'm gonna have to start a second one somewhere on the Next other time. property, on some other place on the property, and go from there. But we will see you tomorrow, and we're gonna go hit the woods and see what we can find. See you later. Well, all right, guys, it is about two days later, and uh, nothing's going to plan. Yeah, well, I went full crazy on this. You went full retard, man. The only problem is, is never go full retard. I had a lot more branches than what I anticipated, so. I gained about, I don't know, I thought I was gonna get 10 feet, but I'm thinking I'm getting probably about 15 feet of driveway here. And had to break up the old Kubota, start hauling stuff down to this brush pile that's absolutely freaking huge. It is gigantic, and come October, uh, 
I don't think we'll be able to burn it in October, actually. I think we're actually gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to tarp it before it snows and burn it when it snows. Cause this thing is gigantic and I don't want no snow on top of it cause I want it to good, clean, even burn. But it is huge. I've been working on it for about, I don't know, a day or two. Probably, oh man, I would say, if you're counting Sunday, yeah, I've been working on it for two days. I gotta get all these little logs that I cut up off the edges, load up in the Kubota, and we'll go check out this pile. Well, we got this Kubota all loaded up, and I am beat, guys. I think I'm gonna try a little something new. I think I'm gonna try warping myself in the tractor down there. You guys ready for this? One, two, three. Whoa, man. Whoo, that was crazy, but yes, we're here. Check out this pile, guys. It's massive. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of it. Boom. Man, she's gonna go up in flames this winter. Maybe fall, I don't know. Depends on if it's nice and wet out. But I gotta dump this off. I don't think I'm gonna do that warp thing again. It's kinda hard on my tractor. You, you okay, girl? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to put some air in the tires because she came down a little hard. But we're gonna get this dumped off. And uh, we got about one more load. And then we're gonna feed these goats. I don't know if you guys can hear us, but those goats are screaming at me right now. So let me dump this off. We'll feed the goats. And trust me, this video is not over yet. We're still gonna do the metal detecting thing. It is really hot out and this project's taking a lot longer than I thought. So let's get this dumped. Well, I just noticed something on my Kubota tractor. First hydraulic leak I've had yet. I got myself a leak somewhere in here. I'm not sure where, but I think I know what the cause is. Everybody always tells me not to put that on when it's running, but I have a bad habit of hooking up my attachment on the front while it's running. It's never given me any problems before. It just clicks right in, but I think, uh, I think that might be an issue. So I'm gonna see if I can get this cleaned up because it is it's a pretty good leak. It's a pretty good leak. All right, let's get it cleaned up and then let's go feed those goats. Whoo, man, that hurt. Oh man, I just got back of my leg lit up. Oh man, whoo, damn wasp. Whoo, that hurts, that hurts so bad. Yeah, so on these uh, stake lines, I always put a, property lines, I always put a cowboy boot hanging over so people don't hit them. I mean, this, this thing's full of a hornet's nest. Oh yeah, he got me good. Yeah, so I just went up to the barn to get some tools, fix this hydraulic leak, and I walked past that boot. And man, it nailed me right in the back of the leg. Ooh, mama, that hurts. The bad part is, is I got a bad hydraulic leak and I can't pull the, start this tractor up and get it out of the way without spraying hydraulic fluid everywhere. So they're gonna have to play nice. They're right there. That's the second time I've been, I've been, I've been got this year. We're gonna put it in high gear because I'm gonna piss them off when I drive past them with this tractor. See how fast we can go. Alright, we made it out alive. We didn't get stung again. Last nest they got me, they already started rebuilding on it. That one got me in the arm the other day. And that's my fault because I didn't knock the stupid thing down, but that one inside that boot's gotta be gigantic.
you hear my goats in the background. Okay, I'll feed you in a little bit. Oh, here they come, they're running. If the audio is full of goat nays, I, I apologize. Let's take this apart and see what, see what it's leaking. I just don't think I have it down tight enough. All smooth here. Man, she is just coming out. I got cleaned up, but these goats are freaking out. So I have to go up there and get the wasp spray anyways. So I might as well just feed these goats and get over with. You see how, man, you see how hot it is out here? Whew. All right, so I'm not walking up the stairs, so we're gonna warp up there once again. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, whoa, whoo. Scared them goats coming in teleporting like that. Oh, man. That teleporting's kind of, kind of windy a little bit. I'm feeling a little woozy from this beast thing too. But I got a bigger problem. The ammonium chloride that I put in their food, they ain't digging it guys. They don't want no part of it. They are hungry, hungry, hungry. And there's still food in their bowl from yesterday. So I know they're not liking it. I know they're not digging this food. So you guys don't like it? It's going to help you go to the bathroom a lot easier. Okay? All right. Well, we'll mix a little bit more feed in there, and I want you guys to eat it up. All right, well, let's get them fed. Hopefully, they'll eat this next go around, or at least they got a little bit in them to help you and your pee-pee problem. To know that you have a friend who pees in the shower. <laughs> Mix it up really good. Well, Patches, he's staying clear from me. He don't want no piece of it, this old man. I ain't gonna rope you or nothing. Go ahead and eat, son. You good? You good, boy? You know, I just tried to take care of you, right? He's not very social at all. He is not social at all. Since he was a little baby, he didn't want nothing to do with nobody. He's a mama's boy, and he's a bit of the bully. He's not the runt, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna get out of here so he can eat because he's not gonna eat when we're around, so. Let's go kill some wasp. Oh, they look all innocent. Nothing inside that boot. Yeah, I know better. Well, these boogers are residing in this boot right here. Let's see if we can get them killed off. Ooh, yep. Don't you look at me that way. Don't you know I'm loco? I'm crazy. Anyway, you about to beat your maker. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Can't you tell? Jesus Christ, they got me. Woo! Mm -hmm. Oh, they're deep up in that boot too. I'm almost out of spray, yo. Yep. That's all she wrote. Yeah, my work is done. It's been a lot of fun, but I am exhausted. Not the end of the video, because we still have to go metal detecting, just like I promised you. And uh, my bee sting is it's swelling up pretty good. It's throbbing a little bit, you know, but I'm tough it out. I'm tough it out. Oh, man, I'll go eat some grass. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine if you need some grass, but... Uh, like I was saying, I stole you guys some metal detecting, so this video is not over. So just wait, because I found some interesting things about the property. I even found a map that dates back to 1908, and the original landowners all the way probably back 150 years. And then I found that there was an old school not too far down the road from me. So we'll be metal detecting around large trees. There's an old home site in the woods. 
we'll be checking around that area and any of the natural land features that are on this map they're actually still here today the ravine that's on this map it's the ravine that my house sits up on top of the hill of so it's gonna be real interesting to uh metal detect around those trees and everything there there's an old trash pile that has like an old uh, ring washer in it some old jars so we're gonna go check around that area try to stay away from that metal as much as we can but people lose things <laughs> when they're walking around so um we'll see what we'll see what we find but that's gonna come tomorrow so you guys stay tuned and stick with me until tomorrow guys <laughs> oh man guys it's the next day and i'm not gonna lie I'm on the way to urgent care. Uh, apparently that wasp thing, that was a little bit more serious than I thought it was. My whole back of my leg is swollen up on fire and it is just extremely hot to the touch. My, the sting point's got a pus pocket around it. So I'm gonna head to urgent care, see if I can get a shot, some uh, antibiotics or something. But this boy is staying home today, so. Well, doctor said it's probably infected. That leg's gonna have to come off. Yep, he's gonna put me on antibiotics. My leg is still swelling up more and uh, it's not going away. So we're gonna go pack it on ice and uh, this old boy is gonna be working from home today. So yeah, all right. This week can't get any better or worse but I'm probably gonna jinx myself and things are probably gonna get worse. Right. Great, all right, let's get out of here. Well, I just got back from Walmart. This boy's gonna take some meds. And I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, we are gonna get back to that metal detecting, but I don't think it's gonna be in this video, guys, because it has just been an absolute nightmare of a week and week. Something like that. Yeah, either way, things are just not going right this weekend. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm in a lot of pain right now. And uh, I think I'm just gonna cut it short I'm going to start over next week. Besides, we're going to be going on vacation. I'm going to take you guys down to Ozarks where we're going. So that will be a real interesting video. Hey guys, that's the end of this video. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you guys like more of my stuff, hey, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. Go ahead and check that out. It's underneath Sunny Slope. Pretty easy to find. So I'm going to go rest up. I'm going to go take some ibuprofen. And we will sit my butt on the couch. I'm going to let this leg go down. Because... She's uh, she's getting pretty, pretty swole up. I feel like I got uh, a dead log underneath my leg. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Sunny Slope Homestead. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.